It's Wimbledon, my favourite two weeks of the year. Uh, maybe for you, but there's people everywhere. Uh, be careful around the grass. Uh, excuse me. Hello, please, please, please don't run. Uh, don't run. It's OK, Blade. We've trained for this. Wimbledon is the only Grand Slam tennis event played on grass courts. So my family and I get taken care of all year round by a team of ground staff to make sure we're the perfect size, shape and condition when the players arrive. It's not all about the grass, though. Let's explore the grounds and check out some more of Wimbledon's unique traditions. Keep up! Where else to start than here? The gates to the grounds on one side and the home of the famous queue. Every day we welcome 42,000 people into Wimbledon and some of those have queued for hours to get in on the day. People even camp overnight with their families and friends to get the best tickets. The queue has become a part of the Championship's history. It's been going since 1920. That's about as long as we've been waiting for Blade to catch up. What did I miss? Not much yet. Off we go! Whee! Ever noticed how everyone at Wimbledon wears white? That's not a coincidence, it's a rule. Right, Blade? I, for one, love rules. It gets very hot and sticky out here on Centre Court, so a long, long time ago, white clothing was introduced to hide players' sweat. Uh, not off-white, not cream, white. It's just another thing that makes Wimbledon so unique. And around here, we enforce the rules pretty strictly, you know. Even I used to wear white. I only started wearing yellow in the 1980s, so people could see me better on TV. Here, on Centre Court, our players are presented with the trophies. They're as old as the tournament itself, so they're an important part of Wimbledon's history. The trophies have been around since the 1880s. The gentleman's singles trophy is made of gold and the ladies' is silver. Both the trophies are engraved with the names of lots and lots of champions down the years. And the men's trophy even has a pineapple on the top. <laughs> Where should we go next? I know. Uh, let's check out the hill. One of my favourite spots at Wimbledon. Thousands of people pack out this spot to watch the big matches if they don't have tickets for centre or number one court. It has lots of different names, but me and my family call it our living room. We get to stay here all year round. It can get pretty crazy out here. Some of the best matches in history have been watched here. It's a long day at Wimbledon, so it's important to enjoy the local cuisine, and ours is particularly delicious. Strawberries and cream are my favourite. People have been enjoying them around these parts since before they even started playing tennis. The fruit is hand-picked each morning, and a typical tournament can see us go through nearly 200,000 portions. That's a lot of strawberry. You hungry, Blade? Well, I only eat soil. Uh, we don't serve that. I'll just get a glass of water for now, please. That's OK. I hope you've enjoyed our tour around the grounds. As you can see, we love Wimbledon's traditions. Hopefully we can see you here in person someday soon. Say goodbye, Blade. Oh. Uh, goodbye, Blade. Uh, uh, goodbye.